They walk in intense heat, sometimes for kilometers, in search of water. Getting down this path has been dangerous, and all they've found at the bottom of this well is a puddle of muddy water. We have no arrangements for water. We keep getting it from whatever source is available. My daughter fell in well when she went to fetch water. A passerby rescued her when he heard her scream. Asha collects five parts of water, that's about 100 litres a day, for herself and her four children. The government sends water tankers, but Asha says they come only every four or five days. Elsewhere in Bede, farmers have left their land and moved to nearby relief camps, where the government provides fodder and water to keep their cattle alive. There is no water left in the Bede area. It used to rain by the 7th of June, but there are still no signs of rains. Last year we had a drought situation. This year is worse. If it doesn't rain again this year, we have to leave our village. Navnath Kadam has already spent four months at this camp. This is the worst drought in Maharashtra in 47 years, and that's as the country suffers its lowest rainfall before a monsoon season in more than six decades. And that lack of rain, along with the rising demand for water, mismanaged resources and climate change, are being blamed for this drought. Environmentalist Vandana Shiva has been warning about India's water crisis for decades. The water famine we are facing is a result both of about 30, 40 years of ill advice by financial institutions. And that ill advice, on the one hand, mined the groundwater, diverted river waters, destroyed the soil moisture, but also is the single biggest reason for climate change. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has held a meeting on the water crisis and promised to pipe drinking water to every household by 2024. But for those who don't know how they'll survive if the monsoon rains don't come, that is a very long way off. Elizabeth Puranam, Bede, Maharashtra, 